Hello, and welcome back to my Warrior Cats The Game walkthrough. When we last left off, I spent several hours replaying the entire game. Um, <laughs> yeah, so my game file managed to get deleted a long time ago now, and I finally got around to catching up to where I was roughly. Levels are a bit different, money's a bit different, characters are a bit different, but we are finally back to where we were, and I can finally actually carry on with the game. So I'm very sorry about the two year wait, but uh, let's get this finished, shall we? So, I am a little bit rusty on the game now, but I will do my best to remember exactly what it is I need to do, and uh, yes. So, we're still where we were previously. Um, oh, as you can see, I am a bit of a higher level now compared to the last episode. Uh, I spent a while grinding, if I recall, and specifically you want to get up to level 75 for this, because at level 75 you gain the new ability, Fiery Fury. This, as it says, is your most powerful move. It's ridiculous. It's essentially um, Scourge's version of... Well, it's Firestar's version of Scores' Apocalyptic Strike. So the fight should be a little better in our favour this time. And uh, we've got to, um, a healer this time around, so that should help us too. Anyway, so we need to head to Sunning Rocks, which is through here if I recall. Yeah, I think this is right. And here we are. Oh, I did, I did voices, didn't I? They might be a little different this time around. Go on up there and give Scourge our answer. Alright, forest fools. What are we going to do? Stay and fight? Eh, very well. If that's the way you want it. Blood Clan, attack! <coughs> oh god. So yeah, the first fight, very, very, very easy. It's just Claws of Destruction. That's that fight gone. Hey, I thought it was going to freeze for a moment there. <laughs> In the fighting, Whitestorm is killed by Bone, the Blood Clan deputy. You grieve for a moment before appointing Greystripe to be take his place. Then Bone is killed by a huge swarm of apprentices. You decide that it is time to end this battle. You approach Scourge. Firestar! Scourge uses Death Blow. It was super effective. Firestar, you have lost your first life. Look over there. You have done everything Star Clan has ever wished of you, and even as even as you were taunted for your kitty pet's origin, all of your perseverance and goodness has made it, made you into what you are now, a good leader to bring your clans to victory. There have always been five clans in the forest, you see. Star Clan, or actually a different one, but Star Clan is always there, alongside the other clans, helping them. Now go, and win the battle. Firestar! How are you alive? I killed you! You tell him that you are a leader with nine lives who fights beside Star Clan, and you finally understand what Barley was telling you. You yourself have eight lives left to lose in this battle, while Scourge will only need to be killed once to die. You see uncertainty on the face of your foe, but it lasts only a moment. <laughs> and the fight begins. Now, the simple thing about him is that if he ever uses his apocalyptic strike, people will die. So you've got to be ready for that, and the only way to really... It, it misses a lot, so you can hope that it'll miss, but uh, the majority of the time it will probably hit and it will probably decimate your entire team. You can't hope for anything better than that, really. So it just comes down to hitting them as hard as you can and conserving as much SP to uh, destroy them. I don't remember any of these moves. So this might be fun. Oh, also, when it comes to Scourge, you do not ever want to use any of these ability attacks on him. Which might have just destroyed me, because that Bright Art move might have been an ability affecting one. But if you um, put any stasis on him, he kills you. Just like that. There's, you don't... No warning, you just die. So don't use status abilities. Now, uh, Oh! <laughs> <laughs> okay! 
Okay, well, I was expecting more, but okay, level 75 makes the fight quite easy, it seems. No! <laughs> With a killing bite to his neck, you completely immolated the entire forest, and you save the forest once and for all. Scourge lies dead on the ground in front of you. Scourge is dead! Retreat! The leaders of the clans congratulate you, and you are finally able to return to camp. Credits. Um, I'm not going to read these out because there's a lot of... Oh no, there isn't a lot of them, but uh... Yes. Here's text for things that happened. Very good job on making the game. Thank you. Oh, also, Misty Eyes, a player of the game who reported... Oh, right, yes. More credits. Credits, 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 credits. And we've recruited Greystripe. He's back from uh, RiverClan now. And we got Sandstorm too. So, with that, that concludes the uh, first game. That's everything in the first series of books. Except there's actually a lot more to this game than just that part. There's, if I remember, there's a lot of recruiting you can do here now for new people. I um, won't do them now because that would be incredibly dull. But there's also, if you go to uh, the forced... Four trees? Yes. If you go to four trees, then you can now get attacked by really weak cats. But um, if you go to four trees and you talk to the trees in the... the boulder in the middle, rather... I thought they stood on a giant tree, but okay. Uh, if you talk to this, you can now share uh, tongues with cats of the other clan, and for the time being you've only got Mistyfoot, but later you'll get more cats that you can recruit. These are a bit harder than your own clan to recruit, but you can get them. It'll just, you know, take a little bit longer. Anyway, to actually progress with the game from here forward, you need to not be attacked by all of the trash, and uh, instead you want to head back to your camp, and speak to Greystripe, who is now you're in the Warrior's Den, I believe, which is the top right, if I recall. Yay! Uh, evidently, I do not remember what you have to do. So, I think I will, um... I think I'll have a jump cut here whilst I figure out what I actually need to do. <laughs> Back in a moment. So, this over here, there's no indication of it, but... Yes. There's now reports. Hey, Firestar! Today I discovered... He's Tigger, apparently. Today I discovered something very interesting. A tunnel into another part of Two Leg Place. You should check it out! This is going to be your new grinding point in the entire game. You can go back and do the, um... Do the River Cat Clan Cats again if you really want to. But at this point, this place is much better. You essentially fight hordes of Blood Clan Cats. And it's, a. Uh, bit more of a challenge, and you, you will die quite frequently there if you're not careful, so you do need to retreat a fair bit, but it is a lot better XP there. Uh, let's see what other things there might be. No major happenings to report today, Firestar! Firestar, the last time the Medicine Cats went to the Moonstone, they reported something a bit strange. You ought to check it out! You began the special mission, the Depths of Mother Mouth. That's where we're heading next! So, heading to Mothermouth is... somewhere. This could be a problem. <laughs> I'm going to go left, and I think it's this way. Yeah, I believe it's this way, but uh, I... Something I could do is rewatch old videos, but uh... Who does that? Right, but yes, you need to head to Mothermouth. If you've been watching these in a stream, you probably know where that is, and we'll get to enjoy me bumbling around whilst I make a fool of myself for the time being. Oh, okay. Oh, yes, this is the code that I have no idea about. The owl tree. This is the hunting point. Oh. Uh. I'm not actually sure where I am. <laughs> oh, I forgot about the badges. Oh, marvellous. But yes, you need to head to Mothermouth. This would be... That would be um, Sunning Rock, so that's not the right... Not the right place at all. 
I think I will probably jump cut until I figure out the correct way and then I'll carry on from there. This is going to be a little bit choppy of a video, I'm sorry for that, but hopefully once I've remembered stuff it'll be a bit smoother again, so uh, yeah, I'll be with you in a moment. Okay, and we're back after me not realising this was an actual path. Just over this way, this leads to Barley's farm, and I believe we go right from here. This will lead us over to Mothermouth, and from here, this is going to unlock a few extra features for us to use. To get there, you're not going to talk to this. Instead... Ah. Oh, there's some dogs in the cave. I was, I'm supposed to be reading this out, aren't I? And they are very big and dangerous. It would not be a good idea to fight them, but I do have a plan to get rid of them. I'm going to try and scare them away. However, I'm going to need a lot of items to do it. If you're ready to try and gather them, just tell me and I'll show you what to do. Okay, this is actually quite a difficult quest to progress with. In this quest, you're going to have to go around and collect a vast number of items, and, um... Yeah. I'm probably going to need to level up before I can physically do this, because to get the bony collar, which is one of the many items you need, you need to fight quite a hard group of enemies, and I don't think I can do it at my current level. But whatever happens, essentially you start this quest, you've got to run all the way over to the new area I t that, that um, Greystripe told us about a moment ago, and you've got to fight a metric ton of blood can cats, work your way through a maze, and essentially that'll lead you to the final fight, and that gets you the collar. Then you want to go back to um, the camp, collect uh, the... There's another load of items you can buy there, then run it over to her. And you've got to do all that in like two minutes, I think it is, or something silly. So yeah, so let's, let's give this a go and fail horribly, and then um, then I'll probably come back in the next episode and do it correctly. Get these items. Yarrow Herb, Stardust, Catnip, Bony Collar, that's the special item you need to acquire, Rabbit, anti venom, and Rancid Mouse. We don't have much time, so hurry! Five minutes, okay. So yeah, we're going to head over to um, Blood Clan first. There's probably fast ways to get around that I'm not thinking about, but... Um, yeah, with any luck, this will work out. The... Highest chance is that this will go horribly wrong, I'll die, and I haven't saved, so I'll have to go back and one-shot Scourge a second time, but, you know, I think I can deal with that uh, two-leg place. So this tunnel up here is the new location, it leads you into a sort of gutter area. Ooh. Yeah, there's quite a few enemies, you can just escape them, and you're probably going to want to do that to get through this. So, uh... Or at least I know I'm definitely going to need to do it. If I recall, there's actually a maze with a drop-down area later coming up that I... I'm going to die hideously in because it's probably going to send me back to the start and then I won't have enough time to, uh, collect the items. I don't remember if escapes can fail, but if they can, we're probably dead in this location. But we will see. So, lots of fights, as you can see. Um, you won't be able to save your progress until you leave. Yes, that's fine. Ah, uh, I imagine that's a pitfall trap, so I'm not going to take that route. I think I have to fight this guy. Uh, yeah, there's two... I'm going to fight this one over here and hope this is the correct path. Because at the top there, when we're in this, you can see there's two, like, sort of gutter-looking areas for you to travel through. I imagine... As this is the one that's off the easily beaten path, I'll have to do this. So... Uh, I'm going to use Claws of Destruction and just hope that's enough. You do not have the attacks I was hoping for. Oh no. Wow. Wow. 
Okay, this could go really badly now. Um, yep, that went pretty bad. Right. 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 This was not the best turn of events, I will say. Um, I'm paralyzed, so I don't think I even get a turn, do I? This is just gonna, just gonna keep wailing on me until I die. Hmm. Yeah. Okay, well, we will, um, level up a little bit and come back and try that again with some more success. I didn't equip the, um, the new, new cat claws, did I? That could have probably helped. But anyway, after the long break, it looks like we're finally back. Let's see if we can't finish the uh, series this time around. I'll see you in the next episode. Take care.